it really is an all-star cast. We've got, uh, I mean, geez, we've got uh, Jolie Richardson, we've got Amory Duff, there's Neve Algar, um, and yeah, the, James Nesbitt is obviously this this cop who's found out that his daughter has maybe been killed, and he's trying to find out the truth, and he goes to all these different people and tries to question them about about her history and what happens and um it's a really intense really gripping drama so yeah i feel really lucky to be part of this amazing cast moving on to lockdown now most people spent their time baking oh, banana bread oh. if they were feeling energetic doing a lot of online quizzes mm -hmm. but not you you created a whiskey brand you wrote a book i mean is there anything that you haven't tried at this stage i haven't tried the banana bread actually that might be the <laughs> next thing i actually filmed a movie as well so i did um this movie that's coming out in February on Valentine's Day with Celine Dion and Priyanka Chopra. So um, yeah, I feel very lucky that I was able to keep working. You have to tell us more about this movie with Celine Dion. That must have been right. quite the experience. It's her acting debut. And I think um, she's a remarkable woman. She's incredible. She's such a big heart and she's really good in it. She's really good in it. And it's a, it's a romantic comedy and basically her music in a way brings uh, my character and Priyanka Chopra's character together. They bond over the music of Celine Dion. And, and why wouldn't you? And did you show off your singing voice to her? Oh God. Well, she may, you may, you may hear a little bit. You may hear a little something. I don't want to inflict anyone with, with any right now. I think if you love Celine Dion, you love her music, you're gonna, you're gonna absolutely enjoy this movie. I can't wait to see that one. And you mentioned your book, <laughs> Waypoints. It's about you walking the West Highland Way on your own. On my own and I didn't get lost. Yeah. Well, well... Uh, yeah. Remarkable. I am an actor, so we're not very good with directions. But um, no, I did. I, I, I did this, uh, you know, the 100 mile hike of the West Highland Way and, and then went up um, Ben Nevis. But it's more it's a memoir, basically. And I use that as the through line and then reflect back on, I guess, my career as an actor, you know, how uh, where I've come from, from, you know, my roots in, in Galloway through to, you know, Los Angeles and and then finding myself as a, as a ginger Highland warrior in um, 1700s. Season seven of Outlander right. currently filming. How's that going? Season seven, yes, we are. We're, we're shooting at the moment and um, it's going really well. We've already shot a, a number of episodes and we are in Scotland, obviously, but it's doubling for America. Uh, we're the build up to the, the Revolutionary War. Um, we, we kind of pick up pretty much where we left off in the end of season six, which was a, re a real cliffhanger where Claire has been captured and in prison and Jamie's setting out to find her. So. Yeah, we start off with a real bang and um, it's going to be a really big, really mega season. Now, there's to be a Highlanders fan event in Glasgow next month, we've seen it. I'm sure that'll be a nice, quiet affair. <laughs> you have fans from all across the world who must give you some weird and wonderful gifts. Can you think of the, the strangest mm -hmm. that you've ever received? And I've probably talked about it before, but one of the first ones I had was a duvet that had pictures of me all over it. Nice. So um, I don't know. It's just going to sleep at night with a duvet on that's got all pictures of yourself. I don't know if that's megalomania or if it's creepy, but um, yeah, they're very generous. Thank you so much for your time, Sam. Really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you, thank you so much, Emma.